Well, here's a look at what GO train commuters have been dealing with all week long at Union Station. Extreme overcrowding, hundreds of people pushing up narrow staircases, only to herd their way onto a dangerously packed platform. Passengers reaching out to City News say safety has been a major concern. The cause of all of this, schedule changes to accommodate expanded service on the Kitchener line. Well, here's a look at Union Station right now. We're in the middle of rush hour. You can see it's pretty much business as usual. I can tell you that Tonight, Metrolinx brought in some customer uh, safety officers to help with crowd control, and it did make a big difference. Uh, still, one GO train rider who's uh, been on the Kitchener line for more than a decade now, she reached out to City News and described her commute home last night as terrible and scary. <laughs> All of a sudden, I could see a scurry of hundreds of people trying to gain one entrance. And there's only one entrance in the new side of Union, and everybody was going in there. It was crammed. And then as we got up the platform, it was packed on the platform. It, it's not about getting a seat to you. No, it's about safety. Laura is one of many viewers who contacted our newsroom, shaken by what she experienced at Union Station on her way home last night. There's only one GO officer that was trying to get the crowd to move into one area as the train was pulling into the station. It was unsafe. It was dangerous. People were pushing. This is not okay. Someone is going to get pushed and someone's going to fall. Overcrowding from these changes is also being reported at the Bramley GO station in Brampton. And this has prompted that city's mayor, Patrick Brown, to reach out to Ontario's transportation minister about safety issues. In turn, Metrolinx was instructed to take immediate action. We're going to fix that situation. We're not going to let it linger on any further. Platform 13 just announced. Here is the Kitchener line crowd. Metrolink says it started getting reports of overcrowding on Tuesday and has been examining the problem. There's additional access to 13 just to the via concourse. I'll take you that way. It is now using public safety officers for crowd control and has also taken immediate action to crack down on platform crowding. This is a very busy train. We get an uh, increase of space there. Because of the construction going on, they've moved uh, barriers and so forth, so that should help as well. But Laura tells me yesterday the train was only accessible from one side of the platform, and that's the bigger issue. So instead of trying to have a thousand people on average go on both sides in a numerous amount of entrances, you have 2,000 people who are trying to get in through very minimal entrances and all get on the train from one side. Many pictures being posted to Twitter show unbearable conditions on the actual train rides. It looks to be standing room only. In the coming days, though, hopefully by next week, Metrolink says two more train cars will be added to one of the evening rush hour trips. Is that going to make it a difference? For me personally, it's not so much just having more trains on the actual train line. It's having a platform that's accessible for everyone and a safe manner to get upstairs to the platform and then to actually get onto the train safely. Well, tonight I followed large crowds of GO train riders up to platform 13 uh, during one of the busiest trips of the rush hour, I can tell you. It was calm, it was orderly, still very busy, but a different scenario uh, than some of the video we've been seeing over the last couple of days. Take a look. Platform 13 just announced. Here is the Kitchener line crowd um, heading up to the platform. This is the main sort of staircase here at the York Concourse. So this is a bit of the overcrowding that people are talking about. There are uh, customer safety officers here helping with the flow. There's additional access to 13 just to the via concourse. I'll take you that way. So there you go. They're trying to break up the crowd right now. So not everyone's getting on at the main stairwell. <laughs> so it's a very slow, but so far orderly walk up to the platform. <laughs> Now, that immediate action we saw tonight is really just a Band-Aid solution. So many commuters believe uh, that some of this overcrowding is related to the elimination of an express train. And uh, Metrolink says it is considering bringing it back on the Kitchener line due to popular demand. But at this point, no decision has been made.